Since I'm back in Amsterdam, I've been on my healthy tour. Like no carbs, nothing um, for the last couple of days. Now I'm going to do like a little juice um, thingy, <laughs> something like that. No, I'm going, going to live on juices for the next three days so I can get my ripped body back. I really need this stuff. So I got some spinach, carrots, um, avocado, um, pineapple, a little bit of banana. I'm going to mix it all. And that's what I'm gonna live off the next three days, or at least I'm gonna try. It's killing me already. Fuck. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. It's not the most exciting thing for you guys to look at. It's not the most exciting thing for me to do right now. But I feel like because of all the traveling, you know, that I really need to like take care of my body a little bit better. Because you know, like you're in the airplane, you're tired, you eat junk food a lot because. You're at this point, I'm already going crazy. Like, I've been drinking the juices all day. And I'm so hungry right now. I've done it before. I've done it before. And there are probably a lot of people that can do it. But, like, my body is so not used to not eating all the time. <laughs> like, you got to know, like, I'm the biggest sweet tooth you will ever find like I can eat chocolate all day I like candy all fucking day like I can wake up if I see candy and I'm hungry I'll eat it you know like it's not like I I don't prefer doing it but if I see it and I'm hungry and I don't feel like going out like I'll, I'll take one to be honest so right now like oh. like no carbs is already like really tough but the juices, it's it's next level. I used to do it like when I was trained and everything, but then like my whole life was different than it is right now. And I'm just trying to watch the show, but I like, I don't know. I get like distracted the whole time just because I need food. Okay, so, but the good thing, I'll be fit in a few weeks, hopefully, and then I don't know, I'll just feel fit again. It's just good for me, I guess. So what I did last night, I was so hungry that I just went to bed, because that's the best medicine to being hungry. And if you're not allowed to eat food, you go to bed. <laughs> when I was younger and I had no money for food, this was my best option, just go to bed. Good morning, little buddy. Good morning. Hey. How are you? Hey. It's always good waking up with this little friend. Huh? So I've decided something. Um, I'm gonna change my vlogs a little bit. So I've been talking English to all my friends. Um, and I'm not gonna do it anymore. I'm gonna talk Dutch to my Dutch friends so yeah um, because I think it's way more easy right now I feel that a lot of the situations are not like spontaneous enough because I force everyone to speak English all the time and it's not their first language so and as I speak Dutch as most of you might know um, I think I'm just gonna speak Dutch to them yeah and I'm gonna subtitle it of course and I think it'll make it way more easy for me to keep on doing vlogs even when I'm in the Netherlands because um, I'm trying to be a little bit more in the Netherlands right now just to like as I told you I want to work on my health and be healthy and be sm like I want everything perfect right now like work out and just like a little bit I just need this for now and um, yeah, so that's what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, gonna start talking Dutch in my vlogs, which I think is really, it, it'll be really difficult for me because it's such a change, but it'll make it more easy, definitely, because there are so many situations where I'm with a lot of people and I feel too awkward to force everyone to like switch it to English while everyone is talking Dutch the whole time. I think you can imagine. And I, I, I hope my Dutch followers, I, I've seen on my analytics that I have a lot of Dutch people watching my YouTube videos. 
and I hope they will enjoy me talking Dutch. It'll make it easier for them as well. And like for the non-Dutch speaking people, maybe you'll get to know another language. And to be honest, Dutch is the most ugly language there is. Uh, there's one, one language that's even worse, German. But Dutch is not pretty either. But you'll see. Dus dit gaat de eerste keer zijn dat ik Nederlands ga praten op de vlog. Kijk wie hier is. is Mr. Bart. En je boy, Barkley. Nee, die is de hond van Amsterdam. Maar ik ben zo lelijk. Het is zo lastig, omdat ik ben nu heel erg gewend om uh, in Engels over te gaan op het moment dat ik deze camera vast heb. En nu in één keer doe ik het in het Nederlands. Het voelt vet raar. Ja, ik zeg het, het voelt het super raar. Je wil gewoon in het Engels gaan. Wat voor hond is dit eigenlijk? Franse bulldog. Maar hij is wel, er is wel iets met mij. <laughs> nee. Geen nee. hele normale Franse bulldog. Jawel, het is een schatje. Hé. Hey. Ah, ga je op mijn, ga je mijn handen bijten? Ja, als hij niet, niet een voetmassage krijgt, wordt hij rustig. <laughs> yeah, you spoiled little brat. Yeah, let it go. So I just received a package from Zara. I actually never ordered Zara, but I saw in this collection they had so many cool stuff that really fits my style. So I just ordered a bunch, and if I don't like it, I'll just send it back. But I hope it's good. Excited! More presents! It's my day today. A lot of new stuff. I love this. My friends from About You always send me the best stuff. This is the jacket I got from them. It's beautiful. I'm so happy with this. Hey guys, so I'm editing the vlog right now and I'm actually really curious what you guys think of the whole new thing where I'm talking Dutch and there's subtitles and everything. And so if you've seen it and you like it or you don't like it, please let me know. I'm really curious to know what you guys think. I'm really excited about it because I think it's good. But let me know what you think.